Ontario gas prices are on the rise and it's leaving consumers with the question, is it worth it to bite the bullet or are there compromises that need to be made in order to save money at the pump? Nikki Cloro is the general manager at Automax Windsor and has worked in the auto industry for over 25 years. As an industry professional, he says that Canadians are looking more for a vehicle that fits their lifestyle needs rather than looking for something that is going to be a little easier on their wallet. They're biting the bullet. They, they, they're not as concerned about what they're going to pay for the fuel. They're just actually, they're, they want that car. They're going to, they know they're going to go with a higher end, more expensive SUV. First thing they say is if they can afford the car, they can afford the gas to go with it. Clara also said that with some people's businesses or lifestyle needs, making compromise simply isn't an option. Adam Arsenault is an aeronautics student who relies on his car as transportation to get him to and from Windsor Airport. For him, the cost of transportation has just become a reality. Um, prices are, are getting pretty high, but you just got to bite the bullet because I uh, can't really rely on public transportation to get me to class and back. So It's clear gas prices aren't going down anytime soon, but to Canadians, it seems that the compromises are not worth the lifestyle changes. To many, the realization is that they're just going to have to pay up. Reporting from Windsor, Ontario, I'm Jesse Carmichael with the 30.ca.